They're gone. They're all gone. We don't have a UPS anymore. We don't have a solar system anymore. A large group of Estonian men came and carried them all out in a matter of minutes and drove away on a flatbed truck. I got, like, eh, a bit of money out of them. Basically turned the new batteries into complete freebies, which is roughly what I intend to accomplish with this. But wow, this room is echo now. This thing, this has not been apart for years. It's crazy how time flies. I can't believe I've had this system for as long as I have. And I never even fixed my solar wiring. That's just kind of a zip tied to the pipe and going out the vent over there. Can't believe it's actually worked. Jeez. Not, not, none of this has ever actually failed me. It's impressive. Impressive quality. And oh, jeez. <laughs> These were relatively fresh boards when I put them here, they're just damaged by moisture and probably some battery acid. So now I can finally rip my whole little plastic uh, f f stuff here. I need this to mate uh, the new batteries. Uh, it's a lovely plastic uh, uh, flooring, whatever you call that sort of thing. Uh, and uh, you you can't get this off season. You 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 can just get it in the summer. So I'm shithead of luck buying any any new stuff right now. So yeah, I've got another load of twelve batteries to unload. So let's just finish this cup and uh, get to work. After I move all the stuff out of the way, I just had to completely evacuate part of a. A room because I had a bunch of batteries sitting there, remember? So, I, whoops, they were completely covered in, well, giant battery charger. <sighs> I have a lot of stuff. Ah, uh, the is just drawing to a close with a bit of an annoyed grunt. But at least we've got a bunch of batteries inside, and let me show you why I'm just a tiny bit. Annoyed, uh, so there's a bunch of batteries still here, and uh, the reason for that is uh, you need to be very careful when arranging these batteries uh, in the strings because if you get one wrong, especially in this battery, because it's going to be three cells deep, uh, it's a huge problem to rearrange everything. And uh, to make it worse, it's basically impossible to shove the batteries uh, in spaces like that where it's just a battery on each side, it's really difficult to get it in there. Uh, so if I run into a situation like this, where I'm missing uh, number 8, uh, I can't install number 15, which would go there, and uh, since I don't want to make 15 hard to install, I can't install number 16 either. And uh, we have the same thing here, so I can't install 17, because we're missing number 1 and uh, was that uh, five uh, and over here we're missing uh, 12 which would go there uh, so I can't install uh, 13 because that would make installing uh, no we're missing 13 so I can't install 12 because that would make 13 more difficult to install and uh, this battery I have all the cells uh, every single one except for number two and number two uh, being in the corner where we have uh, the only spot where it's uh, three units wide means we can't install uh, cell number 20, uh, we can't install cell number 21, 22, 23 or 24. So there are four cells for this battery uh, which I just uh, can't install because they're, they, they would get in the way. So I'm drowning in high number cells, so, like I've got two 24s, two 23s, number 12 sitting there and all high numbers over here as well. And uh, I'm just kind of trying to strategically uh, get these cells uh, uh, put aside here uh, to not to crowd up the room because it's it's not a big room over there. I don't want to have any more cells there than I need to since they're so easy to knock over. And knocking wood, everything's been fine thus far. No injuries on literally anything, which is excellent. Uh, but yeah. <sighs> We have only six more cells to fetch 
gonna fetch them tomorrow and then finally we can get all these in place.